Jesus is superior over angels and all created things. Overview God, in these last days, has spoken to us by his Son. Hebrews chapter 1 is an introductory chapter that sets the tone and theme for the rest of the book. It emphasizes the superiority of Jesus Christ over angels and over all other things that are created. He is the divine Son of God and is the appointed heir of all things. Jesus is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his nature. Analysis by Sections and Verses Hebrews chapter 1 verses 1 through 3 God's Final Revelation Through His Son The author introduces the book by highlighting how in the past, God has spoken to the fathers through the prophets, and in various ways. But in these last days, He has spoken to us by His Son, whom is the appointed heir of all things, and through whom, God created the world. Jesus is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his nature, and he holds all things together by the word of his power. Hebrews chapter 1, verses 4 through 7. Jesus' superiority over angels. The author makes the case for Jesus' superiority over the angels, emphasizing that God has never said to any angel that they would be his son, or that they should sit at his right hand. Instead, he commands the angels to worship Jesus, who is the anointed king and the eternal God. Hebrews chapter 1, verses 8 through 12. The Eternal Throne of God's Son, Jesus. The author quotes from Psalm 45, to show that God the Father, addresses Jesus the Son, as God, and establishes his eternal throne. The Son is the creator of the heavens and the earth, and he will remain forever, while all other things will pass away. Hebrews chapter 1, verses 13 through 14. Angels are ministering spirits. The author concludes this chapter by reiterating that God never said to any angel what he said to the Son. The angels are only ministering spirits sent out to serve those who will inherit salvation. Summary Hebrews chapter 1 lays the foundation for the rest of the book by emphasizing the superiority of Jesus Christ over all created things, including the angels. God has spoken to us in these last days through His Son, who is the appointed heir of all things, and the creator of the world. Jesus is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his nature. The chapter concludes by stating that the angels are only ministering spirits sent out to serve those who will inherit salvation. Click the subscribe button below, then click the all button to be notified of our latest videos. Thank you for subscribing.